Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment and in today's video I'm going to be talking about standoffs. Let's get into it. If you've never used them before, standoffs can be a great way to do wall art, signage, and a bunch of other applications. I like to use standoffs for signage. Before I ever actually got one in person, I wasn't sure how to design for them. Once I actually bought one and had it, it was very obvious what to do. But wanted to share for those of you that haven't actually bought any so that you know exactly how it works. You can get standoffs from a lot of places. I bought a pack off of Amazon. This is what it looks like. And if I unscrew it, you'll see that it's basically four pieces. There's the cap that will actually be showing on your artwork. There are two plastic O-rings and then the metal base. You'll also see that the metal base has a hole in it. This is for the screw that you mount it to the wall. This pack did come with screws, but this is just to be able to mount this side to the wall. The big thing is designing the hole for the actual cap and the screw that comes out of it. This is very simple. If you do not have one of these as a laser owner, you have failed. Um, for real though, you, you do need a dial caliper because I have used this numerous times and you will not regret having one. So if you don't have one, go buy one. I got mine at Home Depot. You can find them on Amazon. All you do is turn it on, Take the cap with the screw, take your dial caliper, measure the thread as best you can. This one is 0.38. When you go to actually put this in your design, you probably don't want to use exactly 0.38 because you won't have any kind of wiggle room in case you mess up when you are drilling the holes in the wall or anything like that. I typically go about 0.02 over that. So if it's 0.38, I make the hole about 0.4. There's no hard or fast rule for this. You just wanna make sure that the hole in your acrylic or whatever you're hanging is big enough to accommodate the stem of the cap with the threads, but you don't wanna be so big that it goes bigger than the cap. So the cap itself on this one is 0.75. So you want to be somewhere between that 0.38 and the 0.75. I would never get even close to that 0.75. If it's 0.38, I definitely would not go over 0.5. Design wise, it's literally just a circle in the design that is that dimension that you use. And then I typically like to round the corners of my design to match the diameter or radius of this. So definitely make those match if you can. I do have a project here that I just made. It's actually a photo of my wife and I's wedding that I have printed onto acrylic. I am using standoffs to hang that and I just dropped an O-ring into my crotch. There it is. Okay, found it. Now, the way that this works is, this is my photo of my lovely wife. We have the back of it here. The way that we hang this is the base piece will get hung against the wall like so. You will have to do this before installing the standoff onto your artwork. Let's pretend that this is hanging into the wall and we're gonna put one of the plastic O-rings on the cap. This plastic O-ring is to protect the surface of your artwork. So now if this moves around and jiggles, you're not scratching the surface with the metal. You're gonna take the other plastic one, stick it on the back side, so it will look like that. Once you're ready, you will put that up against the wall and then you will screw it in to that base so it's captured. Leave it loose and then you're gonna repeat the process for the other three corners. Again, this piece should be mounted to the wall. The reason why you want to put all four corners in before you tighten any of them is you might have to do a minor adjustment depending on your hole size to make sure you can line up all the screw caps with the bases. 
Then once you're done, you just tighten it and voila, you have the ability to hang your sign by those standoffs. And then on the front, it's going to look like that. And that's it. It's super simple to use them. Again, I felt like an idiot the first time I used it because I thought it was going to be way harder than it is. But I wanted to share with you for a quick tip. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer those. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you know when I come out with new videos. Be sure to check out all my socials at Maker Experiment. But thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I will see you in the next one.